Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to make a pause scene. In this pause scene we're going to have the same functions as any pause menu as this one. But we're going to have, also you're going to have the chance to animate it to make a, a thousand different things happen. So what we do in this situation is, well first I'm going to actually turn off this pause menu because I don't want to use it. And then I'm going to create a new scene. In this new scene I'm going to have a button this button is just going to be the resume, the resume function I'm going to move it, move it upwards center it I'm going to call it resume and I'm going to call it resume so you have to set a couple things here you cannot have um, you can have a skybox but I would make don't clear you should not have any of these in your scene you should have a depth that's bigger than your other cameras so they don't um, appear in the scene this one does so you can only see what this one sees and also want a background which I don't have much to use as a background I'm just gonna use the same background and I'm gonna add something just so it's different a couple thingies around so you can see the difference so everything in this scene has to go in a game object which I'm gonna call pause scene you have to drag everything and drop it in here because you want everything to be organized for our next step so first I have to save this scene I'm gonna call it pause scene and now I'm going to add it to our build settings see the index it's 3 I'm going to go back to our usual normal scene and here I'm gonna make a new script this script is gonna be called call pause scene inside this script what's gonna happen is we're gonna add the other scene to this one so both scenes are gonna coexist you don't delete the player and um, that way you can have a different pause scene with a lot of functions and then you just close that and you go back to wherever you were doing whatever you were doing so if the player inputs get key down if he inputs key code escape if they input escape what you do is you just do application that low level additive the level index of your pause scene as I explained this adds that scene to this one and I'm also going to pause the time time dot time scale equals zero it's just this and then I'm gonna add this um, script to my player you can add it to the main camera too so you just hit play and you'll see what happens you hit escape and you have the scene up here it works perfectly it even shuts up the minimap I'm gonna actually mute you can mute your music manager for when you're testing you have to hear it all the time now I'm gonna do something else what I'm going to go to the scene and I'm gonna make that resume button work create a script it's gonna be called pause scene script and I'm gonna add this script to the pausing game object. I'm gonna open. Okay, so that's that. Now, if I want to create a public void, so how do I go back? How do I resume the game? Well, the first thing, obviously, is gonna be time. The time scale equals one. But the other thing we need to do is we need to destroy the pause game object. We're gonna destroy the game object this is attached to which is the pause game object. That's pretty simple again. Just go to the button. Just on zoom out. Go to the button. Add the pause scene object and pass the function to it. Now when we hit play this is going to destroy everything in the scene when we go back to this scene and we hit play and we hit escape we have the scene, hit play and we are 
in our scene again. So that's it. That's pretty simple. You can add any kind of function. You can add animations. You can add many, many things to the pause scene instead of a pause menu. Obviously, the pause menu is going to just be cheaper in resources. It's going to be faster. But it's actually not going to make that big a difference unless your pause scene is really, really heavy. So guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Any requests, I'm here to do them. Thank you.